Hi folks, Gamebreak here again, and we're back with a Black Death. I haven't played on my PC in a while. I'm only just getting back into gaming at the moment. It's been about a month or so. Obviously, Christmas has been in the way, and kids. So, now I'm starting to ease back into things. I thought I'd see what's been happening in this game. I've kept in touch with it, so to speak, but I've not really been playing. Now, I've been playing a little bit recently, um, mainly on the actual public servers, um, but I wanted to show off some of the things that have changed. I can't show off everything in this video. I'll be trying to do some more at a later date. So one of the big things that has changed is actually here on the character screen. And that is women. There are female models in the game now. Holy moly. There are actually female models in the game. And they are all the same, but they look a lot better than the old one did. A hell of a lot better than the old one did. So, they're not gorgeous, but, you know, they look okay. Some look better than others. And they're not meant to be amazing. You know, they're meant to be normal looking people, but some of them are actually sort of you would go on the board lines of attractive uh they look all right they don't look bad at all um so much better than they used to but i don't want them to be drop dead gorgeous looking women in this anyway i don't it doesn't suit the period and the sort of grittiness of it but they need to at least look like they're female which they do um there's not masses of things you can do there's about six or seven heads um the hair well, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, six hairstyles, but they all look all right. Look fine to me. Look better than the men's, to be honest with you. So I quite like that. Probably wise, it's just different uh, variations of the outfit. Now, the thing is, you can actually only have this outfit. Lazy? Maybe. But at the end of the day, it's what they would have kind of worn. The colours are a bit lazy as well, in my opinion, but I mean, overridingly, fine. I've not really got a problem with it. Does the job and does it, does it okay? Likewise, yeah, you've got different coloured trousers, the looks of it. I don't know if you can see that changing or not, but it's not really making a great deal of difference. But yeah, they added in women. Well done. Good stuff. Guys, I don't think the guys have added. Ooh, I don't need that a new haircut, maybe. Uh, not sure actually if that's a new haircut. Uh, heads. Don't think there's anything new in here. No. Body wise, same as before. Legs, same as before. So nothing's changed on the guys. But women, well done, devs. Well done. So let's jump into the server I'm on and have a look at some of the other things that are new. One of the big changes that have been made is they've finally done something about carry weight, which has been stuck at 65 since oh, 0.19. Um, this used to increase on the days survived, but then they took that out. Now, I didn't mind that they took it out, but it was obviously too limiting. So what have they done to replace it? Well, they've replaced it with bags. And you know what? That's not actually too bad a thing. Um, it makes sense. Um, weirdly, uh, I don't know if you've noticed about my character, but the bags that they give you are the bags that your character used to just have strapped around you. It was basically cosmetic and didn't do anything. Uh, you couldn't take them off either, but now they're not there, which I, I quite like that as well. So let's have a little look at the bags. So crafting wise, you craft them with the artisan skill line. So here we are now. The small bag is quite easy to get hold of. It's it's not too many points. I think it's probably one or two uh, experience points. Uh, this increases your carry weight. I've got one here by 12. However, it weighs two. So it actually increases your carry weight by 10, technically speaking. Uh, further down you have the medium bag this I think takes about three experience uh, points so to speak to or 
whatever you want, skill points to create. This one, oh well, sorry, let's have a look at the small bag by the way, that's what the small bag looks like, you still have that strap around you uh, previously. Um, medium bag, again, that, some characters have that strapped to them anyway, there it is. This increases it by 20. It's 22, but obviously, again, as I say, it weighs... Well, actually, no, it's not. This weighs a bit more, doesn't it? It weighs 4. So it actually increases it by 18, technically speaking, because it itself weighs 4. Um, it takes a bit of a slog to get to that. Um, and this is on a... This isn't a private server. This is actually a public server that I'm on at the moment. Uh, so I'm hoping no one kills me while I'm just about talking. Um, but yeah, so the medium bag looks all right and it gives you 18, I believe, space. And then you have the large backpack. Now, this is a real, real slog to get hold of. It's right up there on the crafting thing. Depending what you're planning on crafting, you might be better off just gunning for this all the way through and just picking up a few skills that you know that you need. Which, ironically, I kind of have, but maybe I spent a bit of time doing stuff I didn't need to do. Anyway, this is brand new. So let's have a little look at it first. So it's been designed. I'm not sure I like the design, but it, it's all right. Um, it's not too bad. It's a bit like a picnic hamper in the middle with a bedroll and... I don't know what the bottom bit's meant to be. Um, but yeah, it's, it's okay. It, it does the trick. It's obviously better designed slightly than the bags. I think the bags are a bit of a cheap. We've got them in the game already, so we'll use them. But uh, yeah, so that's it. And what that does for us is it increases our capacity by, technically, by 40. Which is massive. But it actually weighs 4, which is, when you compare it to that, so just take off 4, so it increases it by 36. 36 is a lot. When you think that a typical... Um, piece of wood is four then 36 allows you to carry a lot more wood um and um stones three so it's more stone or more ore or whatever the case may be so brilliant really really good um as you can see obviously i've, I've got myself a lady here as well that i've chosen why not and even in game in game not just on the screen that i showed you they do look pretty good i quite like them I think they've done a good job. They're not sexy. They they just they just make sense. They look a bit downtrodden, but pretty in their own little right. Um, and when they wear armor, etc., they they don't actually have like armor that curves around their chest, you know, showing off their books and bosoms. It, it they look like a bit like a guy in armor. Now, obviously, they're still probably using the male. Um, dummy so to speak or you know the, the male frame for that um but i don't mind because armor was not designed to curve around a woman's breasts or anything now obviously chain mail would a little bit i guess uh, just because of the nature of it being what it is but it depends how thick the item actually is that they're doing it with um but yeah i i like the models i do like them uh, as i said so well done to them for that now there are things that are coming up which i'm going to talk about as well um that have been included and at the same time i'm going to just have a little wander past uh this i will show these off in a video but it's a lot of time and a lot of effort on these and i don't know when the next update's coming and i don't want to risk a wipe what i'm going to do is these guards are going to gun it for me so i'm just going to just roughly show you around in here so in here you can have your own shops you can see them there look um uh, there is a house here that can be bought but if you buy that and you don't actually own that well they're going to try and kill you so that's pointless um can i jump over there i can so yeah, you can actually have your own shops that you can buy in this place uh, in this kingdom these as far as i know don't do anything or that but i've not actually really done a lot with this stuff myself I'm going to try and trap those guys just there. Oh, he's real come around. So up here is the actual kingdom, so to speak, itself. I can't show you around inside. There is a... Why is there a well there? That's really weird. 
Can I jump over that? I can. And you can't get to me. So I can drink from Oh, take that. Um Yeah, it's a bit it's a bit of an odd bod thing. But I will show inside in a video, just not this one. So what we've got to do is get out of here. Now I'm kind of stuck, I believe. I don't think I can just leap over here. Oh, maybe I can. Oh, okay. Now one of the things you'll notice is guards now run. And that's pretty good that they do that. Now one of my problems here is they chase you for way too long. I'm going to run to Bywick which is just over there you can see the windmill in the distance and they are going to chase me and chase me and chase me and chase me i look around over my shoulder there they are now if you want to kill those guys perfect just lure them out here and that guy's just lost his guards um but it is a little bit silly i don't know if you agree or not um that they're still chasing me there they are look can just see the thingy. Now I could just leap over here. Or I might be able to draw him in. I think one of them's given up. But that one hasn't. Which is bizarre. He can't seem to come in here though, which is strange. They probably chased me through here though. Yeah, there we go. So he's still chasing me. It is silly. I mean, come on. <laughs> just silly and grab that and that might have it and he's probably going to carry on chasing me now I don't know what happens if they stop whether they run back or whether they just stay there I guess at a server restart they'll probably pop back where they should belong but that guy is still chasing me Receive he's given up. I think he might have done. I wonder if it's like um maybe it's line the side. I don't know the reason why he would continue to chase me in that fashion, but he did. Let's drink some water. So what I want to show off as well, just briefly is and it will I'll probably have the same thing happen to me here by the way is that you can see it there in the distance that is another kingdom that they added in like I said I do want to demo them off I might try to um garner myself some assistance if I can find someone who'll help me actually build that kingdom um, someone will have owned it or will already own it on this server now I've looked over it briefly before they fully implemented it it was a bit empty looking um, and obviously there is a massive problem with this in that well it's there's nothing around here I'm going to check this out up here I've, this wasn't here I don't believe last time could be wrong no that that really wasn't there last time, I don't think. Anyone in here is going to try and kill me? No, I don't know what they're planning on doing. Ooh, creepy. I can check my eyeballs out. There's another in there, but it's not usable, so it's just cosmetic. But that wasn't here previously. It's probably quite nice for RP purposes. But yeah, I, I sort of went up there when this was first... Oh, what's going on? Oh, I don't like this. Please don't kill me. Uh, well, as you can see, well, that was a little bit weird. Yeah, when it was first implemented, I looked it over. Because I didn't really know what it was going to be, whether it's going to be a raid area or what. And obviously, it's not. There is another place that I think they might be considering popping a kingdom into. Or they're doing something with. Um... It's near Dunstead. I might try and find that to have a look at it again as well. So these kingdoms, obviously, you can buy them and make out you're some sort of liege lord of a large area. Um, they're quite a massive step up from the base houses, though, which is quite a lot. Um, I really hope they do sort of consider 
reinstating the estates, for what of a better word. Um, gravestones there, should be able to dig it though, technically speaking, but I'm not sure. Um, oh, there's a log that spawns outside, that's sort of useful. Now I'm probably going to get accosted by God straight away. That makes these a bit silly, because these are the only kingdoms you go into that you get attacked by guards all the other ones you don't uh, so there's the gate so that's the the main keep for want of a better word um let me see is that oven usable it is usable okay but look i can't trade with any of these people which makes them a bit pointless and silly these doors open they do not um can come up here through here how much of a merry chase I can lead those guys on? Well, it looks like they've given up now. Yeah, they've they've walked off. I'm not important now. I'm actually in the castle. Yeah, I recall this being here before. And there's nothing in here, I don't believe. No. So, yeah, I mean, whether they're going to do anything with it. So, there's a lot of empty uh, real estate here that you can see. Um, that as well. But it's so remote that unless you're doing it for yay look at me stakes, I don't really see the point. I think these guards are sort of a mild annoyance, but they're not really that drastic. So yeah, I will try to do both of the kingdoms um, and show them off. But like I say, really, this whole bit down here, the guards shouldn't attack immediately. It should be like every other guard, unless you cause grief. And by other guards, I mean other guards in other towns, not in the ones in your houses. Unless you cause grief, they should leave you alone. Now, I'm assuming if you add yourself to a house, which is something I'm going to demonstrate in a minute, um, then they wouldn't attack me. But I can't be 100% sure on that. So can I just drop down here? This will be the easiest way back down. So I'm going to see if I can find that other one that I talked about. And hopefully I'll be back when I find it. Okay, so it's probably worth demoing another issue that's currently plaguing the game. And that's this. Um... As you can see, this house, I can access everything in it and at it, even though I cannot actually access the house. This happened to my house as well. Um, so I'm going to take advantage of this and cook up some water. Um, and yeah, this happened. There's a lot of these about at the moment. Basically, things that should be in the house because it's uh, of a certain size, a certain tier, um on i can basically add my name to this now if i want to uh so i'll do i'm gonna do that i'm gonna show you what happens i'm gonna take my name away afterwards because i just think it's silly but i can now add my name to this house by this workbench which because the house probably was owned by somebody and then disowned or a forced disown i guess would be a better way of maybe calling it um, then it does this so all of these things are here because of the level that it's at and every time you upgrade it um, bits start to come back it's really really weird so my house had loads of stuff they were all invisible and as I upgraded it it started to appear now, I don't know what will happen if I add my name to it. You can have multiple houses, by the way, now. So if I add my name, add myself, close. This now is my house. This is technically my house. Now, if I then go in here and remove these people. Um, um, leave. You know what I mean? It's now reset. This is reset that I've removed people from it. 
So I've moved, moved. Obviously, I think the guy that mainly owned it, I'm assuming. I apologise to him, but the game was screwed. So, you know, I'm demoing stuff here. It's just the way it runs. But that was knackered. Um, also, according to this, that guy has um, stuff all over the map. This hooker. Notice that houses are now visible on the map. It's not actually the case because mine's not on here. And I don't really know why. But this is one of the dumbest things I've ever seen. Why the hell have they done this? One of the big points, also the fact you um, you can see this, but you can't put a, use a mouse cursor still on it, which they took out, which they put back in and then took out because there was a map on the inventory screen here. There's a tab for map. Um, yeah, one of the big points is we are now making sure that people must... Oh, one of the things is, is people have to find their way. So use the map, use the locations, use landmarks. I like that. I'm fine with that. I mean, they've said, people have said consistently, oh, no, 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 we're not going to add that in. We're not going to add that in. But, and here's a big but, they're telling where people's houses are. So, well, that's just stupid. That's also a griefing tool. Because you can go, oh, there's a house, such and such. I'm going to head there and... Um, you know, just basically screw it up. I, mean, I didn't go there because the, that was on the map. I happened to know that that house was broken. There was a campfire outside. And I'm going to be honest, I've never actually done what I just did there. So I didn't know that was going to reset it. I thought maybe that was going to give me that like, you know what, actually, let's try something. Let's try something. I've got some cash. There's a town over there. If I go back to that house now and buy it, will all those things that were there be there? Or will they only be there for the person who owned it originally? This is an interesting point. So there's a guy, there's a house over here, and this has guards. So if I actually go over to that one, they're going to try and kill me. But I should be able to reset that house as well odd and if I add my name to that house if I add my name to that house I might do that I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and do that I'm gonna try and add my name to that house dodging the guards but I'm not gonna delete it I'm gonna just leave it because the person can remove me from the house and I'm assuming that'll be all fine and dandy or I could remove myself I guess um, this is all in the uh, the name of trying stuff out. Uh, so we'll pick the cheapest land contract there is. And I'm going to try and buy that house over. I don't care. It's only 500 gold. I've got plenty. Um, but I am going to attempt to buy that house over there. And then I'm going to go over there and have my name to that one. I'm curious if all the stuff that was in that house suddenly randomly reappears. Because that is what happened with my house. It all just randomly reappeared. So a lot of the stuff I'd built, I didn't have to rebuild. So is that going to be a thing here? Claim. No, no, none of the stuff that... No, it's all just gone. Well, what I'm going to do is I am just going to leave that door open and yeah, I'm going to leave that. I'm going to, if somebody wants to go and, and steal that house, they can have it. It's a bit of a, I reset somebody's house. I feel a bit bad for it. So there you go. You want to try and do something with that house off you pop. Now, I'm not going to reset this one. Like I say, I'm just going to try and add my name to the, uh, to the board so i want to see if they oh, they can't attack me any i want to see if they try to attack me if i add my name to it so edit um add myself close Anything in the chests because they, they would have been looted but so they're not going to attack me Nope. Now, if I remove myself, 
what happens? I'm assuming they'll try and attack me again. Edit. Just me. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. I think they're stuck in invisible walls. There is like a wall around them that's not there because the house isn't upgraded enough. Oh well, let's kill this wolf. I could do with his uh, with his fur. The collision detection seems worse in this game than it's ever been. Walls are stupider than they've ever been. Nah, I love the pelt. Uh, the rest of it I couldn't give a crap about. So now, according to this, I've got two houses, but I mean, I haven't actually noticed that I can't show you again, but there, none of the houses around Farley Citadel, which is on the right hand side of the map on its own. It looks like three chimney pots sort of thing, sort of northwest of Bywick, northeast of Bywick Fort. Um, that is where this is and none of them are showing up on the map, so it doesn't quite work. Anyway. Let's go see if we can find this other um, fortress thing, or what I think might be a fortress in the future. So yeah, I mean, I don't know what's happened and why that's happened, why that thing is unpurchased like it was almost, you know, in such a state of disrepair. Um, and there's a house here. This one. Oh, there, there, there we go. You see I'm bumping into stuff? That I'm bumping into is a a node that I think has had something built on it at some point. So I don't know if this is because they've fallen into disrepair and that's the reason behind it. I genuinely don't know why. Um, they are in that state. But it's something they kind of need to figure out. So, Dunstead's over here. Like I say, in the woods around Dunstead, I'm fairly sure there is a a place that's going to be potential. My my opinion, my opinion, is it's going to be awesome. Another one here, though. Why is it in this state? doesn't make sense Nothing in <gasps> chess yeah oh well, this the doors they put the door on this one so I can't just nip in and be cheeky I don't want to anyway I don't want to do anything with it so we've got Dunstead there I'm just gonna uh, drink some water Oh, yeah, I want to sell this a few of the bits I've got that are a waste of time to me let's pop in here this place has been done up a bit there's a few more people in here there's a whole crafting area through that gate or through that gate and through the next one um, so that's nice but there's some weird like double marketplace stuff going on in here as well um, I don't know what that's all about that's, that's what I want to sell uh, like here. That's what's going on with these two guys. Very strange. There's nothing else I need in here anyway, so let's let's head off. So there's a house there that you can purchase. Looks like someone's got it, and it's got the same glitch happening with it. I wish there was a couple more houses around here. I might consider buying one. Um. I like the sort of look of the area. There's one there. Or is that just a wood pile? Might be just a wood pile. Now, I'll see if I can find that place. So that's a. You know, it's just a merchant. A hunter? Not hunter. Woodsman merchant. There's a house down here. It's, like it's owned by somebody. It's guard there in the thing. Where exactly was this place? I kind of randomly stumbled across it. Maybe there is a bit more housing around here. Maybe I'm being harsh on it. 
So the beauty about being close to somewhere like Dunstead is you can close to somewhere you can sell things. Random floating log. Oh, it's, it's here. I think that could have the makings of a small kingdom. It's very small, don't get me wrong. But maybe, because that didn't used to exist. So it is possible that they might stick a kingdom in there. And that is, again, I can't show you on the map per se, but where it says Ober Lieutenant Fritz and beneath that Hoka, that's probably somewhere in between those two. So yeah, adding people to houses, there you have it. Yes, you can do it. Um, and that person then can you go into your house and use all your stuff and won't be attacked by your guards, which is great. But they can also delete you from your own house, which is terrible. And obviously to grief people now, you have to go into the house and get access to that table before you had to kill the um, standing militia, for want of a better word word or the peasants that existed um and militiamen that you've hired had to be killed before you will be able to destroy a house now all i have to do is use that bolt that thing and if i can get access to it from a glitch there you go now like I say, i'm not not interested in griefing anyone can't be bothered it's just silly um but yeah so there you have it. So to recap, things that they have introduced that I like. The backpacks, brilliant. The women costumes or women skins, great, excellent. The map with houses on it showing the locations of people's homes, terrible, terrible. Um, if they're going to do that, they may as well stick a what's name on the map, you know, a little marker to show you where you are. You know, it's, they're already doing cheapening the game somewhat, so why not? That's oh, a hunter. I don't know. What the hell's that? Uh, so, yeah, don't like that at all. Um, the fact you can add people to your houses, I like, but it's too exploitable. Um, but I do like it. And I do think it's uh, a, a good addition. Um, the kingdoms yeah I'm not, I'm not really sold on the kingdoms if I'm honest I think they're a bit well, crappy um, they one looks horrid and one looks amazing but it's in the middle of nowhere so because I think the one near Dunstead just looks diabolically bad they really really need to sort out those um, guards because you're not going to add people to your kingdom um, and by that I mean the actual allow them to enter into your kingdom and delete it but you want to allow them to enter into your kingdom and use your stuff you know buy from your merchants that kind of thing you know it is a town slash city or whatever of your own yeah, shut up. Where's that bit of cotton guy? It's just there, isn't it? Is he chasing me or is he not? He's not. The, uh, the AI seems dumber than ever in this game as well at the moment. But oh, I have to show you the cheapness of the AI while I'm talking. That's that dead. Yeah, so let's go, let's just show you in a minute this, how cheap the AI actually is. Oh, great connection problems, wonderful. Where's that other bit of cotton gone? There. Yeah, so over this way, let's go find that guy. Let's have a fight. Very foggy all of a sudden. Where's he gone? There he is. So we're going to whop out our sword. Uh, 
See if he does his weird cheap. Oh, does that mean? He does, they do have a, there. Do you see it? What was that? There was like a feint he did. He's like, no, I was blocking that. And they do that a fair bit. Also, you can't hit them. Oh, maybe I'm hitting you in the head. It seems very hit and miss to hit them in the head at the moment. Uh, all right, so now that's go up a bit. I don't really want to fight this dude, if I'm honest. I'm only doing it to show off. That weird wind-up seems to like be almost unblockable. I don't know if it's meant to be. Give me a gold. Time to die, friend. So they're not any better than they've ever been. <sighs> right. Let's just get somewhere I know I'm not going to get slaughtered. So, all in all, I don't know. The game's hitting a bit of an all-time low at the moment. It's not doing so well. Um, they keep, seem to keep missing the direction that they're heading in. It's like changes all the time. But things that are coming. Um, I don't know where I am. I think I'm going the wrong way towards my house. I am, actually. Um, I think it's sort of fairly safe. They're changing, they're doing stuff with the AI. Great, they need to, they really do. It's sort of just diabolically bad at the moment. Um, combat, I'm hoping, they're supposedly they're tweaking that. They're gonna look into archery. Great, all of that needs doing because it's terrible again at the minute. They're putting in procedurally generated um, resources. I'm not exactly sure what that means. I, I mean, I know what procedurally generated means, but what does that mean in this game? Does it mean you will just be able to find any old resources anywhere just by running around and if you come across it, good luck? I don't like that. I'm not saying that, it, oh, do they mean that mines will have procedurally generated uh, nodes and you know, so when you go there, they're not always in the same place. It might not always be the same nodes. It might be iron, it might be stone, it might be gold. It just depends, you know, on time and all sorts of stuff when you go there as to what might crop up maybe that's not so bad you know if you're in woods the you know it'll generate a variety of different nodes in the woods maybe maybe that's okay too but it's not terrible at the minute that the nodes are placed wherever you know they're, they're placed in specific spots there's a couple of wood for example they'll always spawn back there is that a big deal i don't know if it is um, so that's another thing and they've got some new armor that they've added into the game oh they've got this look yeah, as well um, yeah I did some new armor that they're going to put in but I'm a bit like really armor <sighs> I'm not even sure that it's that important maybe it'll make an impact now that there's the backpacks but most people weren't really wearing armor or they were just wearing armor and there's plenty of armor in the game anyway there's chainmail, there's leather there's gambersons you know, there's uh, iron armor there's templar armor there's plate armor you know there's quite a bit there i'd rather see more weapons if i'm honest i don't like the fact that the only sword in the game is the uh the the iron sword um like single-handed sword then it jumps to this taper war sword yes there are other ones but you can't make them mm, i don't know it's been a while since i've sort of made a video so it's a bit higgledy piggledy this but i really I'm a little bit concerned for the first time on what's happening with this game. Is it actually going to do anything? It is dead at the moment. You know, as in just so few players actually on the main servers. It's a bit weird. Um, it's almost like I'm playing on my own server at the moment and I'm not. Anyway, let's see what they do with it. When the next update comes out, I'll have a look some positive steps some backward steps seems to be part of the course for the developers of this game to be honest with you but we'll see so until next time and as always thank you for watching game boy game